Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody. So since today Monday, we as usual take a look at the cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin just confirms our long-term view. As we have warned you even in the end of the previous year that with the coming tightening policy and um, by, from the Fed and high correlation with the stock market, and these investors mostly is big, uh, intruding of the institutional investors with their own rules how they should treat different assets. So as usual, uh, risk-free is, you know, is it bonds, is it treasuries, others markets are not risk-free and the, the uh, assets with the high volatility is usually, well, it's not very uh, quality markets. So it means that when the liquidity is needed, they are becoming the first victim on the massive sell-off. So maybe if Bitcoin market remains more or less private and uh, that's trading by the enthusiasts of the cryptocurrencies maybe the performance could be different but currently it's definitely we can't speak about any say we have an assets and uh, possible uh, protection of the inflation something that's in this kind it's, obviously it's not true so uh, we are skeptical on the performance of the bitcoin in the medium term perspective at least within the probably six months over around it uh, just because the crisis process has just has been started or better to say not not has been started but they start to become evident in the statistics in the performance on the markets in the rhetoric of the fed in the, even politicians rhetoric so and it means that trend here should continue down so as you know we have two long-term targets first one stands around 12 or 13 area i will show you a bit later an extension that it's based on second it stands around 8000 bitcoin and currently uh, bitcoin stands at very important moment on the long-term chart so yes here's was very important moment as well as breakout of the euro P would support one it means that we have the strong bearish trend breaking the final 618 support and then despite that market stands it ever sold here this market keep going lower but currently it also comes to important tactical um, check is a retesting of the previous top around 20,000. the market usually moves in ranges so when some range has been broken market turns to the new range spend some time there breaking it down or moving higher and setting the new range for instance you can see this was first range breaking it up another range small market was standing above the 30 even then it has been broken now it stands between 20 and 30 and if it will break it down it will be back to the range of the 3 to 20 area where we have actually two targets inside of it and from that from technical point of view this is really crucial moment for bitcoin market if we will see this strong and stable downside continuation so not not just flirting around with this trend and standing above it but real breakout it will be really bad uh, is because also we talked about this previously so based on the symmetry of the markets where it often happens especially you could find a lot of charts of different stock markets uh, so different stocks when this market shows this explosive rally, then drop back in the previous range and standing for a long, long time at this minor range, showing symmetry with this, uh, like the normal distributions, so the chart, something of that sort. And Bitcoin really could repeat this stuff. And actually, every bubble repeats this uh, chart. We have actually discussed this even a few years ago when we compared the gold market to the Bitcoin. You can find this uh, material in our blog dedicated to cryptocurrency really interesting so uh, from the technical point of view on the monthly chart this is a crucial area on the weekly chart we have this extension market definitely is 
dropping below the COP minus 618 extension coming lower and actually has made the two thirds of the downside action to the OP. OP is 12 even, but if you use the A points not from this level but a bit lower when the downward action has started, you will get 1450. So we could say that's approximately 12, uh, 14 area. This is next destination point for Bitcoin market. Uh, market is not that ever sold on the weekly chart and it has no significant FIB levels. So actually this is free space and only tactical oversold situation could hold it for a while. For example, on a daily oversold, reaching some intraday targets to the downsides could provide uh, some support, temporal support, because on the fundamental background, we do not see any signs of the changing of the situation. It's hardly it will ha happen in, in the nearest term, and it means that fundamental background remains negative uh, that's why we have no reason to suggest some sharp reversal in Bitcoin as well so on a daily it's another ABCD patch that we have right from the top of the 68 OP was 26 areas that we discussed and we said uh, forecasted that market should reach it once it has been hit next target is XOP which is uh, 90 even 8952 is right here so it will be next target <clears throat> in the long-term perspective currently market shows some minor stop it's mostly some kind of the relief after the tough week because if you take a look at the 10-year yields you also could see that market shows some pullback here this is weekly chart so that is a tactical pause of the long-term strong action and the bitcoin also shows the same action this is not reversal this is not uh, good points for investing this is just a tactical stop in a downward trend, some tactical pause. So still, uh, if you consider taking the short position, you need to keep an eye on few levels. On the daily chart, you could see it will be around 23 and the conference resistance 26, 7, 29, 20. So this is the levels that you could think about the entry and where you could theoretically place your stop orders. This level is preferable is because take a look at this accompanied with the daily overbought as well. So if you hide your stop above this area, in most cases and with the 90%, it will not be hit just occasionally, especially in the current environment. So uh, context remains bearish. Um, on the intra day performance, what we have uh, for our time from journey here, you could see the failure of the head and shoulders patch that we discussed actually it is not even the failure but market just hasn't formed it just because we haven't got the right arm completed i will show you on the hourly chart a bit later uh, with this upper trends here you could see it's minor divergence but it is not reliable just because market not at the result market not at the some significant support area this is just the performance of the some kind of the technical issues of the macd indicator and shows some bullish divergence anyway our prediction stands very slow it's definitely no signs of the frosting action it's just definitely kind of the retracement and here is also we have few levels so for instance 20, 23 24 also seems interesting here because it's actually accompanied with the previous laws if i think that the maximum that bitcoin currently could show is just retesting of the broken laws and maybe it's could climb to the 23 24 area but this is very optimistic guys so we are not considering taking any long position as we talked about this for a long time ago or already we're watching for pullbacks for bullish patterns only with a single purpose so because it could point the possible levels that we should consider for taking the short position so if some bullish pattern has the completion point around the confluence it tells us that this confluence is most probable one where the Bitcoin could turn down. The same story currently with the uh, four hour time frame chart, hourly chart. On the hourly chart, you could see that was our previous token on the hand and shoulders. As you can see shoulder, head, no right arm has been formed, market collapsed. <clears throat> so no passion has been formed here. And now um, we could consider the same picture if for instance, by some reason, somehow market will try to come to form this head and shoulders passion we could consider this abcd target somewhere around 24 uh, and use it 
for estimation of the level where we could think about taking short position. Currently, this 24 target perfectly agrees with the daily uh, resistance. It's right here in an all, all four hour time from chart resistance. I'm making the agreement here and this might be interesting uh, point to consider taking the short position. Uh, that's the only way how we're interested with this bullish patterns. We're not intended to trade it. But of course, this is not forbidden. If you have confidence, feel confidence, if you could place relatively tight stop and you have some suggestion why the Bitcoin could, could go higher and reach this level, of course, you could try and take long position as well. Although, to be honest, I'm not very inspiring with this and overall performance stands very weak. So that's been said as a conclusion, minor pullback might be might happen this will be technical response this is not the breaking and reversal and changing some fundamental conditions this is just uh, some technical uh, moments as a relief after the tough previous week if this pullback will happen we consider the area around 23 50 24 as it seems potentially interesting for taking the short position we're not int intend to trade bitcoin on the long side but if you would like to you could also keep watching for this passion and maybe you will be able to trade it up to the 24 if our scenario will be realized.